What's going on guys? It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and I'm back with yet another The Division Weapon Review. Today is review number 72 and will feature the Enhanced PP-19 Submachine Gun, which is a new weapon that became available in the 1.3 patch. But before we get into the review, here are some basic stats and in-game weapon info for you on the PP-19. The country of origin is Russia. The rate of fire is 700 rounds per minute. The magazine is 53 rounds. The fire type is full auto only and the reload speed is 2.5 seconds. Entering service in 1996, the PP-19, officially known as the Bizan SMG, was developed by a team of engineers headed by Viktor Kalishnikov, son of Mikhail Kalishnikov, creator of the AK-47 and AK-74 assault rifles. Based on the AKS-74U assault rifle, the Bazan shares a 60% parts commonality and is chambered in the 9x18mm Makarov pistol cartridges. The weapon operates as a closed bolt and uses a straight blowback method of operation without the use of a gas system. The most unusual and noticeable feature of the weapon is the magazine, which is often confused for a grenade launcher. The cylinder below the barrel is a 64-round helical feed magazine that mounts underneath the handguard and makes the weapon more compact and concealable. Our in-game variant, the enhanced version, is the Bazan 2, which features a receiver-mounted side rail adapter for optics and a new slotted flash hider. In addition, the Bazan 2 has been chambered in 9x19mm Parabellum cartridge and uses a modified magazine with a 53 round capacity. I purchased my 204 gear score enhanced PP-19 from the equipment vendor upstairs in the base of operations and immediately took it into the field to record this review. My version featured a plus 38% critical hit damage and a damage stat of 10.2k after mods. The weapon talents were ferocious, skilled, and a new talent, hurried, which allows critical hits to increase reload speed by 10% to a minimum of 1 second's reload time. To use the PP-19 correctly requires you to stay in close to your targets, and will require smart use of cover, as the optimal range seems to be in a little closer than say the AUG or MP5. The damage output is average for the SMG classification, and the fire rate of 700 rounds per minute is slightly lower than most SMGs. Where the PP-19 is truly exceptional is stability and accuracy, as it easily stays on target and delivers rounds with pinpoint precision. It really is an easy weapon to fire and reminds me of the TA-21 with a slightly higher fire rate. Where the PP-19 is light years ahead of any other SMG is in ammo counts. Through the use of an extended mag mod, my PP-19 held 107 rounds per magazine and with the aforementioned stability and accuracy allows you to send an endless barrage of bullets down range. The newly upped critical hit damage modifiers do boost the damage output and does offset the slightly lower damage stats and underwhelming talents. However, the massive ammo counts and stability are the two overwhelming strengths of this weapon. However, Caution will need to be used when using the PP-19 as the endless ammo counts can get you into dangerous situations when you factor in the slightly dumbed down range. Being in close and firing out of cover means you will be exposed for extended periods of time and could lull you into a false sense of invulnerability. Instead, use the ammo to your advantage as you close the distances to your targets by keeping them pinned behind cover and slowly chipping away at them. My suggested mods would center on ammo and critical hit damage and percentages. The weapon is extremely stable so I would instead center on pumping up the magazine size and any mod that increases the critical hit output is a must. I'm going to rate the 204 gear score enhanced PP-19 submachine gun a 4 out of 5 stars. The weapon does show potential and perhaps a crafted version would allow for more damage output and better talents. I really appreciated the uber stable platform and even when I experimented with higher RPM, the weapon held true and straight. It just doesn't seem to be able to drop NPCs as fast as the stats would indicate and almost feels like a nerfed version of the TA-21 SMG. As always, I would like to hear your thoughts on this weapon and my review. Feel free to leave your opinions in the comment section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with either a thumbs up or down, it would be appreciated. I will leave a link in the description below to my entire The Division Weapon Review playlist and check back daily for my newest reviews. 
Remember from my channel, likes, comments, subs are loved. Until next time, this has been Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer saying peace out.